my spiritual journey start when I was 47. Well, suddenly everything broke down. All my life changed very suddenly. I got divorced. My children moved away. I lost my friends. I lost my house. I lost my company. I lost the shops. I lost everything I had. I was feeling lots of emotion inside and I couldn't stand it. So I decided I have to change. It was very painful, very emotionally painful, and um, I didn't want to continue like that. And I traveled all around the world. I went to China, I went to the Philippines, working with the healers over there, and I went to Brazil. And when I came back, something very strange happened to me. Something inside came out. It was not only feelings, it was not feelings, it was like a vibration coming out, out of me, out of my body. And it was really fulfilling all my apartment. It was so dense, so strong, that I could barely um, bear it. This, it was something that tell me I want to go home. It was more like a, a voice, but the, the voice was everywhere. Like telepathic voice. It was like even the voice was in my cells. It was very strange. But the voice was very clear, very direct and very strong, saying, I want to go home. It happens again, one or two months after. It was even stronger. It was very difficult to, to bear it, and it lasts maybe 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes. I have no idea of the time, but it was very, very difficult. I didn't, had no clue about who was talking and what was going on to me. And it happened a third time. And the third time, it was so strong that I said to, to that voice, OK, either you show me the way how to go home, or I jump from my apartment and I commit suicide. And uh, I think it was something like a few days after I met a person. And the person said, oh, you know, there will be an Atma Kriya teacher in a few months in our region. OK, let's see, maybe it will help. She invited also me in a home chanting. And she had a picture of Guruji at the time. And I said, who's that person? I don't know. I'm not interested in. I was looking at Baj Babaji and I said, OK, Babaji is OK. And this person, no way. So I participated to the home chanting. And at the end of the home chanting, I saw Guruji as a hologram in a full body in front of me. You see, uh, when you have, uh, what was the, the, the movie with, uh, oh, it was a Star Wars movie. And you see someone is pushing a button and you see a hologram. And uh, she was the princess of, uh, and she appears like a hologram with a message. And it was exactly the same. So you see him in three dimensional way, in color. It's but not fully plain, like a, like a real person, but like dots everywhere. But you see the color, you see the garment, you see the hair, you see everything. Like the real image, but like a hologram in three dimension. And looking at this hologram, I said, OK, this is a very special person. <laughs> And well, things go on, I continue my life. I participate to the Atma Kriya Yoga teaching. And uh, so I received the Shaktipat. But still, I was not attracted by Goji. It was no way for me. No, I was not really not interested. I was practicing Atma Kriya. And then there was the COVID time. During COVID time, I could practice every day. And I start to listen to the satsang of Goji. 
And during the, the, the practice of the Atma Kriya Yoga, something inside was calling him, Sanskrit words I couldn't understand, and said, Sadguru, Sadguru, Sadguru. I didn't know what was the meaning of a Sadguru, and, and after I, I learned. He is a Sadguru. He explained what was the meaning of a Sadguru during a Satsang, just after. And during the Atma Kriya Yoga, I could really feel the emotion was changing, my feeling was changing, my personality was changing, and it was very, very helpful for me. And the strange things never happened again. I had a second experience with him. Uh, he appeared also in my apartment, like a hologram. I was a little bit shocked. I said, what are you doing here? And uh, I had the feeling uh, he wanted me to surrender. And at that time, I said, no way. I don't want to surrender. I want to keep my free will. When I had to change my life, when I was 47 and I lost everything, I started to see things. I really, I was really on the bottom of my life, you know, really fully distressed. And I was asking God to take me back home. Something new was completely changing inside me and things, really strange things happened to me. I was trying to meditate, starting to meditate. I could see animals around me, I could see people coming to me, I could see dead people, I could see strange things on people, and uh, I thought, what's going on? I'm getting crazy. At that time. That's why I traveled all around the world to understand what was going on with me and to find solution. I could see uh, that the karma is living. At the beginning, I, was, I had this uh, vision, how things are just moving away from us. It was like boxes. Boxes dropping, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it was the way I can see it. And I can, because at that time I was also a therapist and I could see it on people. Karma appeared on people like small boxes. And then I didn't pay attention anymore. I knew it was safe, it was nice, it was good for me, and I just trust it. After COVID time, I wanted to make, um, let's see, um, a retreat with uh, meditation in silence. I really wanted to do something like that. And I show on my phone a Bhakti, a Bhakti Marga advertising, which say, oh, one week retreat with uh, Kuruji in Italy, silence and meditation. I looked at it and I said, no way. I'm not going to there, I'm not going there. I don't want, it's too far, it's too expensive. That was it. I didn't want to go. And a few days after, the page on my phone, the appliance form was open. I didn't open it, it was just on my phone, the appliance form, and my right hand left was on the screen and type everything, my names, everything, 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 all the details, and I just applied. And when I did that, I realized what I have done. I didn't want to go. I don't, it's too expensive, I don't want to go, it's too far. But, well, it was done. In the following days, I received the exact amount of uh, the retreat. So I could, I had the money to, to uh, apply for it and to go there. At that time, I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know Goriji, uh, no nobody, not even a mantra, not even what was Hinduism. The first time I saw him, Something inside me called him, called Guruji, Guruji, and he just moved and looked at me. And 
I said in my mind, what's going on? Um, I don't know this person. But inside, there was another voice which recognized him as his sad guru. So it was a, a journey for me to get uh, to that point also. Now, Guruji is on my, in my life. Mm, and he is now all my life. And I'm a devotee since two years. And uh, well, it's just a grace to have him with me. That's now how I can live, how I can learn. That's my life. Probably my soul wanted at that time. I didn't understand it was my soul was calling him and was wanted, wanted to go home. If I'm following Guruji now, it's not because of my mind or because I decided to or because I had an open heart or I can see something in Guruji or whatever. It was first because of my soul. My soul decided to. It was not, not, not me, but my soul decided to do it. She wanted to go back home and I had to follow. <laughs>